And Bullitt County is now in the ice storm warning zone, so Dennis Ting is stationed in Shepherdsville at the moment with a different look at the conditions just south of Metro Louisville. Dennis, what are you seeing? Well, Doug, right now it's mostly just rain, but you can see that rain is starting to turn into ice. This railing is pretty much frozen solid. You see some of these uh, these icicles, icicles that are uh, that are starting to form here. But one place where it isn't freezing for just yet is near the roadways. It's still wet here. You see the puddles down here, uh, so that that's good news. The concern is what it'll look like a little bit later. Now, when we were driving up about two, uh, two, three hours earlier, we did see a few wrecks. Um, traffic was going a lot slower, so if you are out there on the roads as it gets colder, as they start uh, freezing over, be sure to drive safe, uh, slow down, you know, uh, give space to other drivers as well. We want people to stay safe if you have to be out on the roads. But again, right now it's mostly just a uh, mostly just rain. Uh, we haven't seen too much icing here on the roads. Uh, we'll go toss it to Chris Williams in Elizabethtown to see, uh, see how things are down there. Chris, what's it looking like? Canadian ge Canada geese just flew overhead heading south. They are smart. They are seeing the signs down here like these icicles that have been growing on these metal signs. The metal sign getting cold gripping onto the early day rain. There was a midday lull then they've started to grow those icicles again. As you can see, it's rainy and drizzly still here in E-Town. They're a sign of beauty on an uncertain day when people are hustling around trying to prepare for what could be the worst. The mayor's office told us that they've been prepping the roads around here for the last 48 hours or so, so they don't think they have to get the road, the snow plows out with the salt until about eight o'clock tonight. Preparations of another kind were taking place at Sawmill Farm about 45 minutes from here in Campbellsville. The farmer's work is never done, especially when the cows and chickens rely upon you to make sure that the generators are in position to keep them warm and watered and fed. But the responsibility of a farmer goes beyond the barnyard when the ice man comes knocking. As well, and so there's not only getting the farm ready, there's also preparations we may need to be taking at our own homes to make sure that those those places are ready as well. Kids are taken care of, schools taken care of, etc. We've heard of no major issues on the roads around the E-Town area today. It looks like the preparations they took on the with the salt trucks over the last couple of days have made an impact. It will be interesting to see how all this holds up overnight, though, Doug, especially with the rain still coming down. And it really feels like the temperatures have dipped five or six degrees in the last hour and a half or so here in E-Town. For now, live in E-Town, Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News.